Lancer Central is back, baby. What a year, what a summer, and now Longwood Athletics is back at it this fall. Hi, I'm Sam Hovan. We're going to knock off some rust, and we sure appreciate you letting us keep you up to date on the stories and fun of Longwood Athletics. Fall sports are in full swing, with both soccer teams and field hockey already knee-deep into the season. All three are rapidly approaching conference play, navigating a tough non-conference slate to get ready for some rough-and-tumble conference action. Men's golf and women's golf also put together strong performances earlier this week. Both are off to good starts this fall. Plus, tennis and cross country are working their way forwards. Check longwoodlancers.com for the latest news, stories, and schedules. Here today, we have a special story for Lancer Central as our crew had a chance to talk with Madison Homie of Women's Soccer about what leadership looks like. Now, here's the deal. Homie's back for her sixth. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. Her sixth season with the Women's Soccer Program. She's seen it all. She's battled through a season-ending injury as a sophomore. She's been a captain. She's helping mentor newcomers. Plus, she's also involved in a host of off-the-field stuff where she's a leader. So we get a chance to hear from her how she handles that leadership role in her own words. <laughs> we're going to probably be in the back, you know, taking our good old time because we're old. Leadership for me um, is kind of an interesting thing because I don't see it as a title. Um, and so, sure, I'm a captain of my team and I have been um, the last couple years, but for me, it's about the small things you do. And so it was very meaningful after I was injured to have Coach Dyer ask me to film our game so that I could still travel and be around the team. And that felt like he saw leadership potential in me and knew that he wanted me to be around the team as much as I could. And so I guess just in those small moments, and I feel like I came in and proved myself to a lot of my teammates. And so just kind of having that confidence from others was meaningful to me and how I grew as a person and as a player and as a teammate. Um, and like I said, it's not about a title for me, so it's about doing all the small things. Sophia, you just yell at yourself as you run down the field. You just yell at yourself as you run down the field. <laughs> you know, we kind of joke around, say she's the poster child. Uh, you know, she, she's a player that we would clone if we could. She's always been really, really good as far as someone that you can count on and you can trust. From her club team, like she played center mid, one of the more, you know, one of the more critical positions on the field. You have a lot of influence on the field, getting a lot of touches. Uh, you put players in that part of the field that you trust. And so as far as what first drew us to Homie uh, were some of those leadership qualities that we saw in her in that area of the field but she's definitely a leader by example and just someone that you you trust all the time and again early on we could see those qualities in her and we're you know we're fortunate that that she was able to or we were able to bring her here and she could continue to do that at this level for our program what do they all mean that's uh, this one's like feminism this one's a lucky charm i had around my ankle that i lost but now I can't Aww. this one's just like positive vibes cute leadership is just something that I try to live by daily and I don't need that sort of title or my age by any means to kind of define that and I do really appreciate the time and the lessons I've learned from soccer and so to keep getting as much as I can out of that experience is great and Longwood's a great place to do it. Players like Homie are special and every coach knows how important having someone like that is on their team. Now it's time to take a look at some of the top six plays early on in the fall for Longwood Athletics in this edition of the Lancer Central Top Six. Coming in at number six, Caroline Verhappen, a beautiful tackle, splits a couple of defenders and gives her team the chance to get an extra offensive possession against Towson. Longwood won this one two to nothing. And then we move to number five. It's Marcus Gronley off a nice feed from Ben Wilkinson on the side. And Gronley slices it into the bottom of the net off the crossbar. The Lancer senior made some noise against American in a pretty big performance. We've got more coming up from him in just a bit. Meanwhile, moving to number four, back to Lancer field hockey, Luno Lopez. What an individual effort. Beats a couple of defenders and then slices it past the goalkeeper. That one also coming against Towson. That was goal number two in that one for the Lancers. Brucey a wild piece with the assist for Longwood. But again, Lopez keeping it on a string there. On to play number three, women's soccer, their lone home match of the season. Mary-Kate Levish in goal, and not today. Brooke Steele, tight angle shot. Levish says no. You can see right here the angle comes in, but Levish not to be beaten right over the top. What a thing of beauty by the Lancers. And that kept them right in the game. Longwood did lose that match, though, 2-1 to one in their season opener. 
Moving on to play number two, back to Marcus Garnley. Mentioned he was going to come up again. Van Slyke goes down. Garnley says, thank you for this off slot on the left side. And that was a big one for Longwood. Gave them their third goal of the match. It was his second goal of the game. A great performance for the Lancer senior. Meanwhile, number one going back to men's soccer. This one, Van Slyke says, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. Nobody can. Rocket at home against VMI. That one, Sports Center's number three play that night. It's our top one here. For the Lancer top six, one more look at it. Van Slyke unstoppable with the finish. That'll do it for us on this edition of Lancer Central. For our entire crew, I'm Sam Hovan. We'll see you next time.